Hi, welcome Hi. to the National Career's Choice Online News. And here we have a very special guest with us today, and it's none other than Mr. Mike Fleming. He is the uh, director and uh, for training in a serial tech school of baking technology in Singapore. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mike Fleming, please tell us more about it. Okay, Ruben, thanks. Um, so, yeah, school of Baking Technology uh, is, a, is a training school that focuses on all aspects of the baking industry. We run a diploma and we run certificate programs. They can either be full-time or part-time and they cover all things associated with baking. Flour confectionery, bread, cakes, pastries, desserts, ice cream, bakery science, bakery management. Anyone who does these programs has got a good foundation to go on and further themselves in this career. Um, as it was said in this conference here today, the basic foundation skills are important and it's the building upon those skills when our graduates decide to go out and get a job or work in industry that perfect those skills over a period of time. Uh, we do part-time, we do full-time programs um, and the students learn about the how and why of baking. If I was talking bread for instance, it'll be about flour quality, water absorption, dough development, temperature control. If I understand those four elements and I can apply those in different dough making processes, I can make a whole range of breads. But I need to understand that before I can go on and make multi-grain bread or sweet buns or whatever it may be. Everything we do in our training facility is based on baker's percentage, whereby the students understand the formulation, how it, the formula has been constructed. Uh, how it applies and the baking science part of what we do is that we do experiments as they're learning about bread again as an example what salt does too much salt not enough salt high levels of fat low levels of fat no sugar too much sugar using ingredient technology uh, such as dough conditioners to get the maximum out of the flour the protein and the, and the starch content in the flour uh, you can make bread without any additives but if you use the additives or use the technology, as we call it, correctly, it makes better bread. However, we're not there to say you can't make bread without the, the technology. That's You need to be... We educate you to make the choice. If you were like it like that, well, that's fine. If you, but if you prefer to use the technology that's available, we do that. The technology in, say, fillings, for instance, starch fillings. Um, a lot of bakeries today mass produce product in advance and freeze it. So if they're going to do that, they must use the right type of starches for their fillings, otherwise, and these starches are free, what we call freeze thaw stable. If they do not use the right product, what happens with the filling when it thaws out, the water runs out and you've got a dry curry puff or whatever it may be. So it's, it's using, explaining and using and demonstrating the ingredient technology to these young people and mature age people as well, so that they understand what it is. If they want to open up a bakery, do they need to know how to do everything? In many cases they don't. But they need an understanding of the principles of what's going on if they're going to employ a baker. Yes, they do, we believe. And this course that we run gives them that opportunity. So if you're an entrepreneur but you want to employ somebody, doing these courses will give you the background knowledge so when you employ a baker, you know what to expect. Gone are the days when the baker could say to you, this is the way it's done because uh, this is why I was taught. If you understand how it's done, you can say, no, look, this is what I'm after, this is what I want, this is the way I want you to do it. So it's, it's educating people. Um, and we educate people with a passion to get the benefits of you know, the aroma of fresh bread, a nice sponge cake or a cream cake or a chocolate eclair or a durian puff, for even, even, for instance, in a local context. So as people appreciate the textures and the flavours that go into bakery products, right? It's not about the end product per se, it's about the process and how that process interacts to give you consistency. What we're looking for in the graduates is to understand the technical aspects of what baking is about so that they can perform and make consistent quality products. Consistency is a keynote of quality and if I keep it simple and keep it neat and tidy, I don't have too many problems. And if I can understand this process, then I can get more consistent product on the other side. What makes a good bread? You know, what's the philosophy of a good bread? And is a good bread mean uh, that mass-produced bread is evil uh, versus against uh, multi-grain bread and you know, whole-grain well, bread? 
I mean, there are some people who will say that. I mean, every market has a mass-produced market, such as your white sliced breads and that type of thing, because that's for the younger generation and that's what they're learning to eat. Uh, as you become older or when the kids evolve and whatnot, they like to experiment with wholemeal breads and multigrain breads and things like that. I mean, you can make good bread and bad bread at artisan level. You can make good bread and bad bread at, at plant bakery level. It's about uh, the understanding, again, of the process and getting the quality out that you want to get out of that. And what is the, your three main competitive edge for stereotype over your own competitors uh, in Southeast Asia? Well, I think we, we're right at the cutting edge of technology in, in terms of eating ingredient technology, particularly in the in the in the dough conditioner area. I mean, Cerotech, the parent company, uh, is a, is a food technology food ingredient technology company. Uh, so we've got uh, access to whatever R and D work will be done there by the way of enzymes or things like that to keep breads fresher and softer longer. Uh, our focus is on the technical aspects of what goes on, it's the process related, um, and it's ha having the students to think about the stuff. So it's the technology that we have, it's understanding process and the emphasis on the process and getting students to understand why they're doing something and building on those techniques. What's your key success uh, since you founded Cerotech uh, for some time right now, Mr. Michael? Yeah, sorry. Uh, your key, what's your secret of your, your success? Secret of success. Well, I mean, I've got a, I've been in this industry all my life uh, in the education field since '79. I hopefully bring a passion to what baking is all about. I mean, I grew up as a pastry chef in Australia. Uh, that was my forte. Uh, coming to Asia uh, and developing these schools, it's it's to eat to. To give people an understanding about what baking is about and how how rewarding it can be just by making a simple loaf of bread and seeing it come out of the oven and say, oh, well, look at that! I can I get this aroma, and and I just want to eat that bread, right? It, it's uh, it's it's a, a passion, I think, uh, about uh, and sharing that passion with people so that they can hopefully pick up some of that enthusiasm. And what would be the one thing you would like to tell the world about Zero Tech and your passion of bread? Well, if you come to the Cerotech School of Bacon Technology, you will get good, sound bakery foundations that you can build upon to build a career and or even open up a bakery business. Once again, uh, Mr. Michael Fleming, thank you for joining us here at the National Business Choice. Do, uh, please tell us, uh, how can our viewers uh, look up at your website? Uh, do you have a website? Yeah, we've got a website, yep. Uh, Cerotech School of Baking Technology .com. Uh, you'll see the website there. We've got a Facebook page as well, Cerotech School of Bacon Technology Facebook page. Uh, all of the courses are on our website, uh, and my email address is there. They can come and contact me. We take international students uh, as well, so and we run special programs for specific purposes. I mean, people next week, for instance, from Philippines will be in town to do a four-day artisan bread baking course, right? So we've designed that for these people in the Philippines so they can get in touch with us like that. Well, once again, I'm Robin Steinberg. Thank you for joining me here at the National Business Choice. And do contact Serotech uh, at their website at www.serotechnologyschoolofbakingtechnology.com for more information. Okay. And once Thank again, you. have a good week ahead. Thank you.